Yo, Eris, could you explain this, please? If the opponent gets up and blocks the cross chop, a jab seems to be guaranteed. <laughs> All right, listen here. I'm going to go ahead and explain that real quick because a lot of people don't know about it. <laughs> Thank you. So, let's see here. I'm going to make a... Uh, we got to make a good example of this. Uh, let's see. So, we're going to pick Yoshi. Or no, let's pick Paul, okay? So Paul and Yoshi share the same thing, whatever the fuck it is. And then we're gonna pick like, mm, Jim. No, fuck Jim. We'll pick Heihachi, right? So these are two different characters. Pay close attention to this. We'll go to an infinite stage. I like Paul's swords too. He's got two of them. So. How do you do that? Can you be... You. How do you get on the ground with this guy? Oh, yeah. How do you do that again? There we go. So I'm on the ground, right? Ah, oh, but I can't do it from this position. Darn. Can you get on the ground with this clown? Mm. You can't, huh? Oh, you guys never seen that? If you hold down long enough, he does this, and if you push up 3 plus 4 at the end of it, he does a broken flip, and it does damage to him. It's an easter egg move. You can set it in training. Oh yeah, thanks. Uh, restart settings. Player... Status. Face up. Okay, good shit. Thanks for that. So, I'm gonna show you guys something important here. Uh, guard all. So, first of all, before I do that, let me show you what a normal spring kick looks like. This is a normal spring kick. If you're on the ground with most characters, if you hit 3 plus 4, that's what happens. From a neutral down position when you're in face up, feet towards, 3 plus 4 does a spring kick, right? That's a normal, generic one. King and Eddie have one where they twist and they end up back turned, but it does a little bit more damage or whatever, right? So that's generic, right? But Paul, Paul, Shaheen, Yoshi, and several other characters have a different version of the same move. And if you do three plus four, they do this version, where the first part is not an attack, but the second part, which is the cross chop, is an attack, right? So that's the version that they have. Now, what you may not know about this cross chop is when it's blocked by the opponent, it is minus 10 on block, and it is one of the only instances of the, in this entire game where the block disadvantage yields a guard break. This is a true guard break. So what that means is, if you block it, you cannot block the jab. And in this specific case, the jab floats. Because during this block stun, you're considered airborne. So, what does that mean? That means, well, keep in mind, this says guard all. Opponent action, guard all. He's supposed to block everything. 100%, right? So if he blocks this, you can jab and get a full combo. Depending on what your character is. That works with Yoshi, that works with Shaheen, any character that has a cross chop, spring kick. When you hit 3 plus 4, if it's a spring kick, that does a cross chop, you get a jab. I don't know what the uh, best combo is or whatever, right? But it's 100% guaranteed. And some characters get, you know, better than others. On block. Anyway, that's been in Tekken forever. It's just one of those things, you know? It's guaranteed. It's, it always has been. In every Tekken. Or every Tekken that I can think of, maybe forever. 
Maybe since they've invented that move. It's old. Does that work for Sergey? No. He doesn't have that. Only a few characters do. 